Flavor family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back at the grocery store, continuing the trend of healthy January shopping experiences to help you start the new year in the right way, right? There's a lot of stuff in the grocery store and I want you picking out the best quality stuff to put in your body. So today's quick Flav City short is all about probiotic rich food. Before we get rocking and rolling, like, subscribe, share, all of those good things. But the most important thing is a little bell icon right below the video, enable all notifications. Cause then when we go live, which we're doing six to seven times a week this month for January to hook you up, you'll get a push notification so you don't miss out. All right, so I love probiotic rich food because they feed the gut bacteria in your body. Did you know that 80% of the cells that make up your immune system as a whole live in your gut? So it's to your benefit to feed and foster those gut bacteria. And I would start by eating this. This is a company from Canada called Bubby's and it's naturally fermented pickles. What does that mean? Look at the ingredients here. Do you guys see vinegar anywhere? No. Every other pickle in the middle shelf like this has vinegar. So why is that important? It's a natural fermentation. It's barrel aged and when it ages and not only pickles the uh, pickle or the cucumber naturally, you get these lovely probiotic bacteria that are so good for you. Whereas if I take this bottle right here that I grabbed from the middle aisles, I look at the ingredients, not only does it have sugar, but it has vinegar. So the vinegar is not bad for you, right? But it doesn't have any probiotics. This is probiotic rich. This also has sugar. And I should let you know that sugar is not only bad for us for many reasons, but sugar actually kills the good gut bacteria and feeds the bad ones. So we got to eliminate sugar from our diet. It's really, really bad news. So in addition to pickles, I mean, come in here. We have naturally fermented sauerkraut, right? Same thing. Lovely fiber from the cabbage, but also probiotic bacteria. We have kimchi, 100% fermented. Just don't heat this stuff up. If you heat it up, you're gonna kill all those lovely probiotics. And this has chili and garlic, great stuff. And this is a super cool company from I think California, Wild Brine. They're making fermented probiotic sriracha sauce. But look at these ingredients. Anaheim peppers, kale, and fermented, wow. Like this stuff did not exist back in the day. Even fermented sauerkraut, you had to make that stuff back in the day. Now you can get it here. So really cool stuff. But if we come right down here, we stay in the theme of gut bacteria and we talk about kefir. And this is something I'm a big fan of. And nowadays you can get it actually dairy and non-dairy. But do yourself a favor. If you get the non-dairy one, don't be getting this one because this is strawberry flavored. So what happens there? Well, number one, they're using natural strawberry flavors, another word for artificial flavors. But you guys, there's 14 grams of sugar in here in an eight ounce serving. Let's just, let's just, let's hold it up. Hold it over for a second. 14 grams of sugar, that is over three teaspoons of white sugar added to this. So not only you're canceling out the probiotic bacteria because you're killing them, but you're taking in all that sugar. That's such bad news. You can't be eating that. So get the plain one for almond. If you're gonna get dairy, you gotta get organic. This is cool because it's lactose free. This is even better, but it's not. See, it's grass fed, but by them putting vanilla in there, they're actually putting seven grams or just about two teaspoons of added sugar. So you're killing the probiotics. So I would just stick with Wallaby is organic, plain kefir. You can get Lifeway, plain kefir. It's just really easy, but you can't get that sugar in there and you can't get the uh, natural flavor. So these are the kind of things that will help you be really healthy, foster the good bacteria and start off the new year with a bang, right? So I hope this helped out. We got two more of my uh, quick Bobby shorts going below us right now, but we will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace.